Let's start this build. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to start the build of the JG Maker Magic Printer. So we've got the basics set out here, and we're going to start with the first step, and that's basically assembling the uprights. A couple pieces to note, these are countersunk, so these will go to the outside. The mounting holes are, are here and here. Uh, it will take the... Um, the uh, M540s, so you should have four of them here. Now, before you mount these to the actual unit itself, we have to go ahead and install the uh, uh, Z axis motor, which will slip on here. You notice you have the T nuts here, which will slide on here, and then on top, you also have the T nuts for the end stop, which will go on here, like this. Now, notice that the uh, Z end stop is a little bit different and it has a square opening in here and will mount right in here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse putting all this together and we'll come back and see how it all goes. So let's jump to a time lapse. Okay, we're back. We've got these assembled. Uh, had a little bit of a hard time getting the Z motor to grab the T nuts, so that's not unusual. So it took me a couple tries. You might have seen that in the time lapse. I did a little bit of squaring with the square, wasn't perfect, but at least I got these pretty close, uh, or at least good enough for uh, government work, as we say here, to uh, uh, accept the gantry. So, with this being said, I am going to cut these loose. It's not on the instructions, but I just want to kind of get things a little bit uh, more open here and then I'm going to cut over and do a time lapse of um, assembling the gantry pieces now which will go on onto here. Okay so we have the gantry pieces laid out here on the workbench and we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble them. Now a couple pieces to be aware of. This bar, the bar for the gantry is not so there's, there's a long and a short and if you look at the instructions over here it says long and short this is also the back side, this facing this way with these are the back side of the gantry. And one of the pieces, if you note, this actually goes in sort of upside down and into here, as does this goes into here. Uh, so this faces the back side. The idler pulley will go on the front side as well as the uh, hot end will go on the front side. So let's go ahead. Let's jump to a bit of a time lapse. Let's assemble this and then I'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so we're back. We've got this assembled. Now, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, at when we started this is the notches back here are actually meant for these bolts these rollers to go into that's why there's those notches and that's why there's a long and a short and that's how you know how far to put each one of these is again uh, because of that notch so we now have this in place so now the next step is to actually attach our belt which they give us a little belt right here and the idea of the belt is it's already got the zip strips and that on it. So the idea is to put it around there and use this idler pulley over here to actually tension the belt. So the belt is actually going to uh, slip back around. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick install of it. And then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, I got the belt on, all set up. Now, one of the things I need to mention is I screwed up a little bit, is I misinterpreted the instructions over here. Uh, before you actually put the extruder on, you want to have the belt threaded through the top. Now, little tip, only thread it through the top. If you loop it back around the bottom, 
you won't get it past this wheel. So again, uh, back to the back to the previous step. Lay the belt in the track, put the extruder on, and you'll be all set to go. So I'll have done um, you know an overlay at that point, kind of pointing to that little change. So, anyways, we now have the uh, gantry assembled, and as you notice, that I just push this out tighten these up and we're done deal we're ready to go to get this on the uh, actual printer itself okay as you can see from the time lapse I've got the gantry on just slides on uh, here I've got the two. I got the sorry four M five twenty fives. They're silver. They go inside these recesses. Pulls this tight. Did a little square up with the square here just to make sure everything was good, and it is. And uh, so we now have this piece assembled. So so far so good. Fingers crossed. Uh, this is going pretty good. Uh, knock on wood over here. All right, let's go to the next stage. Okay, the next step is to apply this decorative header to the top rail, which is kind of nice, covers up the, these edges. It just slips on, and then you use two number eights, uh, M5, uh, yeah, eight millimeter, yes, let's see, M5 eight millimeter uh, button head screws. So put those on. I'm not gonna do, uh, you can figure that out. I'm not gonna do a time lapse of that. So I'm gonna go ahead, put those in, and then we're gonna come back, do the next phase. All right, so the next step is actually to install our Z-axis. So this might get a little bit messy. This has got some of the chi my infamous Chinese uh, grease stuff on it. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to take this wrapping off of it first, clean it up, because what I'm going to do is uh, uh, coat it with Teflon. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get this nasty stuff off, clean it off, and then I'm going to jump to a time lapse of installing. It's actually pretty simple. You just thread it down tighten it into the motor but let's do a little bit of a time lapse and you can see how it's done okay so we've got the rod installed and um, one of the things you might notice that I had a little trouble getting it in well not really trouble but sometimes these uh, couplers can be a little bit tight so what I did is, uh, you know, number one, I had it loosened, but then I took a regular screwdriver to open it up a little bit so I could screw it down into there, then cinched it up. So just kind of a little common sense trick. You can just kind of stick that in there to pry it open a little bit. All right. So the next piece we're going to do is install the filament out sensor, which we're going to use these uh, M3 uh, 8 millimeter long uh, hex heads to go in. Now they pass through the sensor and into this plate, which is where they uh, tap into, is where the threads are. And this will go in here like this. And then what will happen is we'll have to disassemble this piece, the motor, the extruder motor from the uh, extruder. And the motor will go up from the bottom. This will mount in the top. Now remember, this piece here for the Bowden tube is going to go this way. And the input tube for the filament is going to go back this way towards the filament out sensor. So let's go ahead and do a time lapse of putting this together. Okay, we're back. So we've got the extruder assembled. This went this went together very good. We got the filament out. I took the liberty of putting the filament uh, holder bracket on. The only thing we really have to do is bring this around and uh, you just insert this bone tube in here and bingo, we're, we're done with all the mechanical pieces of this build. So the only thing left is to actually take all these wires that you see here and plug them into their appropriate socket. So there's labeling on them here, this this white piece. I'm so here's the switch. Uh, here's the extruder. Uh, here is the X. So all these just plug in. Now you're going to have to do probably on your own a little bit of cable management. So. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug these in. I'm not going to do a time lapse of me plugging these in because I think that's a little bit boring. 
and then we're going to come back and I'll talk a little bit about the cable management I did to connect these. Okay, welcome back. So we've got it all assembled. I've cleaned up the uh, tubing and the wires and it came out great. And I've also done the first print on it, as you're probably seeing in the upper corner. So I printed out Chuck's Pawn. I got to tell you guys, this came out phenomenal. Now, the only thing I did was a paper level on this bed, went to Cura, use just out of the box settings you know told it it's bed size didn't change anything and this really i used clear pla and this really really came out nice so i am super geeked about um how this works now they claim it's supposed to be high precision well i, I don't know about that but it, the quality is is really good and um you know, GearBest is offering this, I think, at around $199. So basically a turnkey setup for $199. I'm pretty impressed. So hopefully this build, build video helped you out. If you're thinking about one, I do recommend it. I think everything about this is, is uh, pretty good. I don't like the openness on the bottom if you, if you have kids or in an educational institution. As I mentioned, the back is covered. Oh, one of the other things I thought was very interesting, this was covering the power um, outlet. Now, one of the things, and I also see about putting a link up there, its big brother uh, ran into a bit of a reputation. A certain YouTuber video reviewer of 3D printers uh, accidentally kind of got a little bit of a poke, and the poke was because of a floating ground. And so one of the things that's what I found, and I actually did a video pointing that out. In in um, one of the pieces here, it says very clearly, make sure to use connected to ground, so no floating ground. So um, definitely ad adhere to that. And again, a little bit of PSA here. Make sure any device that has a three-prong plunk plug that you have an appropriate ground connected so uh anyways hopefully you found this video interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you think what you'd like to see me do with this guy uh bell buttons over there so definitely hit that so you're uh, updated when i put out new video what you guys aren't a subscriber i put all this work into this video and you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button put out regular content be sure to check out the playlist swag shops up there and we'll see you guys in the next video where we're printing something else cool cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects